Hey, I'm Gratuitous, and in this video, I want to give you guys just a little rundown on the Z Game Editor Visualizer to uh, create a video kind of like this. Okay, so let's get into it. So with the release of my free beats by Gratuitous Volume 6 Beat Tape, um, I was, you know, kind of trying to think of how I could release it to market it and um, make it, you know, look really presentable and competitive uh, on like YouTube and other platforms like that. And, um, you know, you'd always see people when they release their videos, you know, they always kind of have cool backgrounds. And like whenever like the audio plays, um, there's always like some kind of image kind of um, following like the audio pattern, like, you know, for example, like the, the circle, how it kind of keeps expanding, like whenever like the kick drum hits and stuff like that. So here. You know, like this radius and stuff like that and kind of like how like the screen shakes and um, like I know you can do it in like things like Adobe After Effects, but you know, those are things that you have to pay for. And I recently saw ImageLine release this Z game editor visualizer, which is absolutely amazing. Like it's it comes free with FL Studio and look what you can create with it. Like this is this looks pretty sick. So I'm not really going to do this video so much as a, as a tutorial, just kind of how to get started with the Z game editor. OK, so. Um, what I did was uh, I created this um, uh, YouTube intro off of uh, Adobe After Effects. I'll just play that here. Okay. So this is like what it looks like. So go full screen. Okay. So, you know, um, I just created that in Adobe After Effects. And so then what I did was I just took um, a snapshot of that image um, this is like it all together, but then I uh, took just like a PNG file um, because it, you can make the image transparent. So I just took the text and then it's transparent in behind it so I can put it over top of the background. Um, you know, so like this is it all together and I, now I just have like the pieces. Um, that's all I did to get started with this. And then it's just a matter of uh, adding in all these kind of different effects. So if I turn them off, um, you know, just one sec. Okay, so the the polar, as you can see, is like the actual uh, audio in the background. So, okay. And then uh, the audio shake is like how like the screen shakes and stuff like that. Uh, again, I'm going to give you guys this a little rundown. I'm just showing you how uh, this all looks and how to kind of get it set up. So I actually added quite a few effects on to this one. Um, then as you click them on, you can kind of see things are starting to come back in, you know, like, like I said, this is free through image line and look how powerful this thing is. Like, again, I'll, I'll play it and you guys can kind of see like the screen shaking and the radius in the background and stuff. So, okay. So, um, how you get started up with this is I'll just close out of that. Um, I'm just going to put this, I'll, I'll give this a green and I'll say original. So just open up a Z game uh, editor visualizer. So uh, wherever you have stored that. So for me, I have it in a folder called visuals uh, and Z game editor. Okay. So this is what you are given when it pops up. So um, one thing I read in their notes is the larger you have your video, uh, the more demand it is on your computer. So the smaller you make this, uh, the easier it is on your computer. Um, I actually heard like my, my video card, uh, like, um, speed up quite, quite heavy. Cause I had it like full screen with all the effects going on. Um, and that doesn't happen very often. So that's just kind of a heads up. So I'm just going to put the aspect ratio to 16, nine. So how it works is each one of these is like a layer. So if you use Photoshop and stuff before, all you have to do is just click another plus to get another layer. Um, the one on the left is the furthest back. The one on the right is the most upper one. Um, so if you have like a background, you'd put it here that if you have like a logo, you'd put it here, um, that kind of thing, um, to move them left and right, you have to click this arrow and go, you know, left to right and stuff like that. If image line did allow you just to click and like drag and stuff like that, like this would be a sellable product just on its own, like, right. Cause Adobe after effects, like they charge how much a month just to use their one product. Um, this is, this is pretty powerful. So I'm just going to delete these 
and I'm just gonna show you how to get set up. To get started up, so all I did was I had a background image and then I had my actual logo image. So I'm just gonna do that just so we can kind of get going here in this, in this video. So image and, oh, sorry, in add content. So this is where you actually have to start if you wanna add your images in. So add content, images, and then you add your pictures wherever you wanna add them. So in this case, I'm just gonna add these two and uh, we'll go back to main. So now here with image, you're gonna select your image source and uh, I'm not sure which one it is, so I'll just click one. So that's the, uh, the logo. I want the background image. Just put the size to full and we could just resize this just so. Something like that. Okay, so now um, you can just right click and go clone or you can just kind of create a new one. I'll just go clone and here is gratuitous. So that is the same image, you know, as you had before. And now it's just a matter of uh, clicking another one and just adding effects on. So I would recommend always having your actual logo at the uppermost. So, cause then all the effects are in behind doing their thing and they're not kind of getting in the way of your logo. So the first one I'll show you guys is uh, the audio shake. This one is, you know, what you see a lot. So I'm gonna turn up a lot, but this is a little extreme, but this is what it looks like. Okay, I'll turn it down. Now, any uh, like any layers that are to the left of audio shake will get the actual audio shake is what I found. So if this is over here, so move it right. So right now my logo is on the left, so it's underneath the audio shake. Uh, the actual image is gonna shake too. So I don't know, I kinda didn't like that, so. You know, I kind of like just like the background. So I put that to the right. And this is kind of like just the background kind of going with the with the beat. Okay. So I'll come here, I'll add another one. And uh, we'll put this on the right again. And um, so here, let's kind of uh, go with, I don't know. So like I, I actually use this one in uh, the ones that I'm gonna be releasing on YouTube. And see, like like I was saying, it's like this is kind of too extreme by itself. Um, and again, I'm putting it behind the audio shake so that it gets the actual shake with it. Um, so all you have to do is just use the alpha and then watch. Like it kind of pushes it into the background really, really subtle. And then you're able to kind of do stuff like this, right? So, you know, like if I put it on full, like you can actually kind of see like what things are doing. And like, you could like leave it like this. Like this looks really, really cool. Like this, this comes stock with FL Studio. So, um, but again, I just kind of, just kind of pushed into the background stuff like this. And then um, there was another one. I'll show you guys one more here. All right, so here's this other one that I kind of liked um, because I had it like in my original one, but since it's just an image, it wasn't moving anymore. Like for example, if we look here, you can see like in the background, I had all these kind of like things going on and I, like, like that's how I designed it. So I kind of liked it like that. Um, and this kind of reminded me of it, but this is just too extreme. So you can just kind of um, start tweaking things so that, you know, there's, you know, what you want, what you want them to be. So again, that alpha, I have to just turn that down. You can kind of give it a color. You can like adjust like, you know, whatever. So stuff like that, right? And then uh, just make it a little bigger. And then the alpha, just, or I'll make the color kind of close to what it is. And then the alpha, you can just kind of put in the background and maybe slow down the movement a little more. You know, so again, now when the audio plays, this is what we're looking with. Okay. And I'll show you guys this one last one. Uh, this is the one that I got off of uh, the, the tutorial from actual image line themselves. I'll show you guys how to find that too. That's how I kind of got started with this. Um, so all you'll go is, I think it's like polar or something. So in the peak effects, it's polar. And this is the one that you see a lot in um, like a lot of people's YouTube videos showing you, um, you know, like when the audio kind of follows like the circle like that. So I'm just going to move this left so that it gets affected by the, by the shake too. Okay. So the radius is how you make it big and then you can kind of uh, put your threshold. So I guess this is kind of like how sensitive it is to your audio. So if it's all the way down, it's just like always playing. 
but then if you turn it up you know only maybe like your kick drums and claps and other kind of like you know loud transients are being picked up more um your magnitude is how big they are so okay, your thickness you kind of rotate it because i guess it's kind of like there's low frequencies and high frequencies or something like that i'm just guessing you can invert it crazy but um yeah it's just this is a super super cool so um the thickness will increase that and then you can like give it a color and then again, just like the alpha, you can kind of push it just into the background or keep it nice and bold. And uh, the polarity, so what that does is either you can have um, the actual lines only on top or only in like inside the circle, so outside the circle or inside the circle. So as you can see here, it's only outside the circle. Or you can go only inside the circle or just a little bit of both. Uh, the radius I'll push down a little bit okay so that's all I did to kind of create what I sh showed you at the beginning of this, vi of this uh, video um, now to export it is you just go settings you go export to video and this will pop up so all you have to do is just um, you can just select like your preset Inside this advanced export settings, uh, I saw that um, they recommended uh, 60 here, and then uh, I just chose it to be 256 and 16-bit. It's good enough. And then uh, they also suggest that you should copy this stuff and paste it into your YouTube video, just as a courtesy thing, just saying kind of like, thank you for creating this and it helps give them promotion and stuff like that. So all you'll do is you'll click OK. Um, I try to turn off the wave just because what happens is it creates an audio file and a video file. Um, even turning that off, you still get both. So you still get the video and audio. And then once you're ready, you just click start and it will render just as if, you know, it's creating a song just like regular, but then you have your video. And usually, uh, for this, they're about a gigabyte in size at this moment. Um, but that's how you guys get started up with the Z game editor. Um, I just want to show you guys how to find the tutorial. So all you'll do is you'll come to the image line.com. Uh, go to company and news and then here on the left hand side uh, they have render videos and this is like kind of where they started really kind of promoting it so this is so cool like you know thank you so much image line for allowing just a nice handy tool inside fl studio to kind of promote your music and make it kind of look you know professional and kind of compete with others online so you can just watch this this video and that's kind of how i i just got a quick up up and going with this um, at first I wasn't sure what to do and then I watched that video then I was able to figure it out really quickly so you just add it onto your master channel um, you just add your audio into the playlist and then you just export it and it creates the actual video for you and um, and yeah then then you can just upload it to like YouTube or wherever you want to kind of promote your music okay so hopefully this video helps you out I'm gratuitous and I'll talk to you later